Mel's on the MIC. I love your personality on the radio. It's always upbeat, bubbly, is, is, I don't know what. Like a contagious vibe. My Kiss 1031. Very special guest on the phone line with me, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen this gentleman all over your TV screen over throughout the decades. He's had hit TV shows in what? One in each decade over the last 40 years. And uh, he has a book out <laughs> right now called From Raj to Riches. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Ernest L. Thomas on the phone line with me. How are you today, brother? Oh, supernaturally blessed, Mel. No doubt. No. How are you, my brother? I'm doing great, man. It's a pleasure of mine to get to talk to y'all, someone that I grew up watching on TV and sort of emulated because, Raj, I had big glasses, big Coke bottle glasses as a kid myself, and seeing Raj be so cool and, and still with it was, was my hero. You was one of my heroes growing up, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, man. No thank doubt, you so man. Much. Now let's talk about uh, yeah. let's talk about the book, though. That's what you're here in the CTX okay. for. That's what you're okay. in Colleen for. Uh, you're promoting your yes. book from Raj to Riches. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's a testimony of faith, uh, and because uh, kids always ask me how I made it, and it's about you know having supernatural faith, and essence that supernatural faith brings supernatural results. That God doesn't lie. So when Jesus says, ask anything in my name, and he will do it, he means it. But we have to have supernatural faith. And no matter how it looks, you know, just believe that it will happen. Now, you might have a river of tears between then and getting the answer and getting the prize. Mm -hmm. uh, but God will make all your haters silence, all your haters, all your family members, the, uh, your fraternity, <laughs> uh, any and everyone, the church people don't believe, you know. So um, that, that's what it is. Supernatural faith brings supernatural results. Now, there's something uh, that I found interesting about your book is that you uh, discuss how your faith uh, kept you from succumbing to the pitfalls of what's going on in Hollywood and that a lot of actors and a lot of people uh, that you that you worked with have fallen through. Is, is that a, would, would you say that's an honest assessment? Yeah, man, I, I, I fell victim too now. I fell victim, but I think once you have that foundation mm -hmm. of the church, and, and again, my mother, you know, I, I came from in the womb of a praying mother, right. my grandmother, so from the time I can remember even speaking, that's all I knew was the church and God, and God is your father. So, but I did, you know, want to party. Oh, God, I want to play hooky. Lord, can I play hooky? People <laughs> have so much fun over there, Lord. You know? <laughs> so you want to go and do the one-night stands and have the cocaine, the free bass, the quaaludes, the mushrooms, the cognac, and the music sounds good, you know? And uh, it was such a great period, the 70s. Mm -hmm. You didn't have the drive-by shootings. You could have your door open, and there were no diseases. Uh, you know, it was just a great time, you know? Yeah, it was a great time. So uh, I did uh, play hooky from God, mm -hmm. and uh, I got so bad, so dark, where well, I had to fall, fall on my knees, and then and, and, uh, he took the prodigal child back. Uh Thank you, Jesus. You know, no doubt, no doubt, and that's what you and that's what you're talking about in your book. Oh yes, oh yes, brother. from rods oh. to riches, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And uh, you're here all this week. Uh, you're doing a whole bunch of different stuff. You're uh, uh, signing a whole bunch of different books at a bunch of different locations. Uh, Black World Books, KJ's Pole Boys Express. Uh, you're also going to be at our first Friday event uh, at French Quarters Restaurant this Saturday. Uh, yeah. What, what else y'all going to be at? Because you and Bern, uh, I know Bernadette Stainis. I just got on the phone with her. You guys are busy out here trying to push. These books and also promote your play that you guys got upcoming. Willie and Esther, yes, it's a hilarious love story. You're gonna love us because people, we just have a chemistry. She and I, we we had that ever since we did the play with Kirk Frank, Kirk Franklin. He say, she say, but what does God say? And that was a huge hit. But she and I just, she's my my stage wife. You know, I call right. her. And I'm her stage husband, but uh, this is the first time we just, just the two of us mm -hmm. on stage. And uh, so we're now mapping out those cities and, and trying to, you know, be next year. But, you know, Mar February, March, uh, and we just let people know, just be alert to it and uh, come on out and have a great time. No doubt. Once again, Ernest Thomas on the phone line with me from Raj to Riches. It's his book that he's out promoting right now, and uh, it's got a, got a lot of big things on the deck, man. And uh, as far as TV acting, now, so, uh, interesting fact that I didn't know about until I started researching uh, the, the book and stuff was you've had at least one hit TV. You've been involved in at least one hit TV series 
Uh, every year in every decade so far is that yes, accurate? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. It's either TV or film. Like you like what's happening with, with the seventies, right? And what's happening now, which is the number one syndicated hit in the eighties, right? And, and then in the nineties, Malcolm X, mm-hmm. uh, like Lee's epic, and then two thousand was Everybody Hates Chris. You know, uh, so the millennials know me as Mr. Omar. Tragic, tragic. <laughs> so, they love that guy, and I love him. And Chris Rock and Ali Leroy just gave me that role. You know, right. so I just thank God, brother. I, I'm, you know, I, I'm just, I just never want to. I said, Lord, don't leave me to myself. You know, and when, you, when he makes it even better, you see, I, I feel today the best is yet to come. I love the old. All that happened in the past, uh-huh. but the best is yet to come. No doubt, and we're looking forward to the best that's yet to come. Because I'm quite sure that you finna get that phone to ringing again pretty soon after the stage play. I'm sure with you and Bernadette. I'm, I'm quite thank sure. Thank you, brother, uh, and thank you for having us. No doubt, thank man. You. I mean, we appreciate y'all for coming out here, and we thank y'all once again for giving us time for, uh, uh, throughout y'all busy and hectic schedule. Uh, if you want to give the rundown again on where you guys are going to be at while you're here in Central Texas, uh, what's your schedule like this week? Oh man. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> it's hectic. Okay, yeah, we're we're going to be, okay, uh, Thursday, uh, November 30th, we're going to be at the K, KJ's Po' Boy yes. at 7 p.m. Uh, Friday, December 1st, 7 p.m. at the French Quarters. Uh, Saturday, is this, uh, uh, December 2nd, Black World Bookstore at 7 p.m. Okay. Uh, we're going to be at December 4th and 5th at the uh, VA Hospital. Okay. Uh, and I know that's in Texas. I can't remember where. It's in Temple, Texas. I got you. Okay. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> no <Okay>. doubt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And uh, so make sure you guys catch Ernest everywhere. And of course, he will be. He, uh, I'll be able to come meet you at our uh, first Friday event this Friday at a French oh, Quarters great. restaurant. So I'll definitely stop awesome. through that. We, awesome. I was telling Bernadette, we, you out here in Texas, and we pumping you up with nothing but Louisiana food all this week. Look like I know. <laughs> I got some Texas barbecue, man. You haven't had I any mean, yet. Ain't nobody gave you no. Uh uh-uh. uh. People gave me some places, butlers and. Firehouse. Okay. Was. Okay. Butler's is good. But black owned business. Black. Uh, okay. Yeah. And Butler's I, is good. Firehouse, I think, or something like that. Well, but. We got to get you squared away, brother. We got to get you some Texas you barbecue. You can tell me. You let me know. Yeah. Yeah. You we we, we got to get right. you squared away. We'll get you squared Please. away. Oh. <laughs> All right. Once I again, love this barbecue. Yeah. No yes. doubt. No doubt. Ernest okay. Thomas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I appreciate your time, brother. I ain't going to let you keep Thank sitting you. in that hot car talking to me. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Thank your you. time, brother. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll Thank see you. you down the road. Yes, my brother. God bless you, brother Mel. Mel's on the MIC. What's up? Now heard weekdays from noon to 3 on today's R&B and Old School. 103.1 KISS FM.